Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back. My name is Laura, for those of you that do not know, and today's video is going to be a well-awaited video, Books That I Hate, the sequel. And so last summer in August, so literally a year ago, I did this video on my channel called Books That I Hate, and ever since I posted that video, I've been begged and begged and begged to do a second part, and it's kind of taken me a while to actually compile a big enough list of more books that I dislike uh, to do a second part of the video, so finally, a year later, I am here with some more books to share with you guys that I either hated or just disliked or had issues with. It's just kind of like the title books that I hate. But a lot of these I don't actually like hate hate. Some of them I just kind of had some issues with. Of course I will explain as I go on. I just wanted to take a quick second and say that this video is not meant to make anybody feel bad about the books that they read. Trust me when I say I'm the last person to judge anybody on what they read considering the books that I read on my channel. I'm sure people could come from me from a million different directions judging me on books that I like. So if you do like some of the books that I've talked about in this video, that is perfectly fine and I'm so glad that somebody is actually enjoying them. So no hard feelings. I'm not trying to make you guys upset or anything like that. This is just supposed to be a video in good fun. And of course, I would love to hear your thoughts on all of these books down below or you can tell me about books that you hate. But other than that, I'm just going to get started and share with you guys the books that I hate. The first book is super expected in this video because I've actually made a rant review on it. And that is The Vincent Boys by Abby Glines. You guys probably saw this coming from a million miles away. Yeah, I did a whole video on my dislike for this book. I had read the book like years ago and then recently decided to do a reread of it as I was reading a bunch of Abby Glines books over because I actually really like Abby Glines. She has so many books so the fact that I only hate like a few of them isn't even like a testament to say that she's a bad author because there's like 15 or 20 of her books that I really really like um, that kind of outweigh the hate for this one and the next book that I'm going to share with you guys. But this book just had so many problems for me. I couldn't even stand it. It was so angering when I read this book and I'll link the rant review that I did down below because it really goes into detail about this book. Um, so I'm gonna just leave that down below and you guys can check it out. But yeah, this book is probably the one I hate the most out of all of the ones in this video. It made me so mad. Just to keep with the theme, I guess I will share with you guys the other Abby Glines book that is on my list, and that is As She Fades. And this is a young adult book that she put out, I think, this year. It is a standalone novel, and this book made me so mad. So this book is told in two separate parts. The first part starts, and it's about this girl who gets in a car accident with her boyfriend, and she ends up being fine, and her boyfriend is left in a coma, and she stays at the hospital every single day waiting for him to wake up and she meets this boy there who I think is like friends with her brother or something like that. But then the book changes and then it's part two and it just went crashing down from there for me. I thought the book was on a really good track and then when it became part two I was like what the hell is this? It got so confusing for no reason. The little synopsis of the book completely lies about what the book is about and it just made me so mad. I did not enjoy this book at all. I feel like if she just completely removed part two and just continued with part one for the whole book, this actually would have been a decent read for me, but because of the big switcheroo, I was not a fan. The next book on my list is actually a book that I read such a long time ago, but I've recently kind of changed my mind on this book, and that is... 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. This was a book that I used to be such a big fan of. I used to recommend it in all of my YA contemporary recommendations videos, um, and I was a really, really big fan of it. I really enjoyed the story. I thought it was important and insightful and told a really great story um, about a girl struggling with mental illness, obviously, who ends up committing suicide. And, um, this book, ever since the TV show came out, it's really given me some perspective into this story and how it's actually affecting people and just seeing all of the horrible things that have come with this show coming out. It's just really been upsetting and has shown that maybe this isn't the best example for a book that centers around such a heavy topic. I feel like it maybe could have been done in a different way. I'm sure some people will disagree and originally I didn't think that this book glamorized suicide, but upon seeing just so much backlash from the show and just the book in general, 
I'm starting to think that yeah it does a little bit glamorize suicide um so I just think that we could read other books to get a better grip on like mental illness and suicide prevention and stuff like that I feel like this might not be the best example anymore um especially after watching season two of the show I was absolutely disgusted with it I was gonna do a full review because the first season of the show I watched and I gave a really good review and I really enjoyed it uh season two made me absolutely despise the show and I will never watch the show again like I'm not even kidding so yeah I just don't really want anything to do with this book anymore I don't want to talk about it on my channel um and I don't want to think about it so yeah not really feeling this one anymore the next book on my list I don't necessarily hate but I definitely had some issues with it and that is Real by Katie Evans and so if you saw my video where I talked about judging books by their covers I'll have it linked down below if you haven't watched it um, I decided to pick out some books that had horrible covers as this one does and read them and see if they were good so I read this one and it was okay I'm not even gonna lie it's a new adult romance book and it did have some redeeming qualities and it was super fast for me to read and it was like fun and everything like that but the one issue that I had with this book was the main character and her best friend constantly calling each other whores and sluts and just other people whores and sluts and it was so annoying like every other word they were like oh she's a slut she's a whore she slept with him like blah blah like and it wasn't even like slut shaming sometimes they would just refer to each other as like whores and sluts and I think that's okay if like your best friend says something and you're like oh like you whore whatever it's like funny if you say it once but like every other sentence they're calling each other these words and I'm like this is getting so overused it's not even funny it's borderline like offensive like I didn't even I didn't enjoy that at all luckily the best friend kind of disappears after the first few chapters of the book anyway so that kind of goes away and I was able to actually enjoy some of the story but I just kind of wanted to put this out there as like a warning that if that annoys you which it probably does this book has a lot of that so yeah, not my favorite new adult book I've ever read, but it wasn't terrible, so that's my feels on this. The next book on my list is one that I can't believe I didn't include in my first video, and that is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. One of the top comments on my last Books That I Hate video was somebody saying that they hated this book and it was a super unpopular opinion, and I was like, girl, <laughs> no, it's not an unpopular opinion. I read this book when it first came out, like in 2014 or 13, 14? I don't really know. Um, I read it and I was super excited about it because it was getting so much hype. I remember my sophomore year, teacher in high school my English teacher told me to read it so I did um and it was just a really big disappointment I thought the big plot twist at the end was stupid and I didn't even enjoy most of the book I thought it was kind of confusing with all of the characters and I don't know I just really didn't like it it was kind of slow moving for me as well just not one of my favorites I know a lot of people really really enjoy this book but I think an equal amount of people dislike it too so let me know your thoughts on this one it's not one of my faves Okay, the next book on my list is one that I didn't even finish reading because it was getting on my nerves that bad. And that is The Kissing Booth by Beth Reckles. And so when the movie came out on Netflix for this book originally, a lot of you guys told me to check it out. So I did. I had never heard of the book. I didn't even know it existed. It was originally published on Wattpad. And you guys know that I'm a big fan of Wattpad books and I love supporting them. So I was like, oh, I should check it out. So I watched the movie and I actually did enjoy the movie. I mean, it obviously has its issues. It's pretty cheesy. It's not the best movie, but it was really fun to watch and I did enjoy it for what it was. But this book, I decided to go out and buy it after watching the movie just to see what I thought about it. I don't mean this to be rude, but like, girl, where's your editor? Like, who edited this book? Did you just take it off of Wattpad and reprint it into a book? Because it looks like nobody edited anything. It literally looks like a 12-year-old wrote it. <laughs> and I don't mean that to be, like, offensive, but I was getting so frustrated reading this book with all the grammatical errors and, like, the spelling errors, and they were using words that weren't the right words for the context of the sentence, and I just couldn't even read it. I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, how is this published into a book? And this book used to have a different cover, so they even republished it with, like, a brand new cover and still didn't edit any of it. Like, I couldn't even read it. It also didn't use quotations correctly when it was saying what the characters were saying. Oh my gosh, like, it wasn't even anything to do with the story. It was totally just the editorial and how bad it was, and I can't believe it got published into a physical book. 
like how it is like maybe they could have gotten someone to go through it and fix some things up but they didn't so for that reason i will never be able to finish this book because it's that bad <laughs> The next book I have on my list is one that I don't necessarily hate, but it's one that I feel like a lot of people like a lot more than I do, and that is Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson, who I absolutely love. Morgan Matson is literally one of my favorite authors. So this book is clearly just the exception of all of her other wonderful books, but I don't know. This book just felt so slow moving to me. It's about these two people who meet and they road trip across the country together, and just the pace of the book was so slow. The romance was way too slow. Like, trust me when I say I love a good slow burn romance, but this wasn't it. Like, it wasn't enough for me. It felt kind of like just a ton of plot that was unnecessary to making a really good story with great character development. It's a pretty short like story in regards to time and I just felt like nothing happened. So that's my my thing about this book. I, again, I really enjoy Morgan Matson for the most part. If anything, her writing is still really good. This book just was not for me. I'm not gonna throw this one because it's signed. <laughs> The next book on my list is Boomerang by Noelle August. This is a new adult book about two people who have a one night stand and then realize that they both got a job working at the same office the next day. And I didn't even finish this book, I'm not gonna lie to you, so I don't know how much of a review I can give for it, but I can tell you that it was super boring <laughs> and the characters were just horrible. Like I did not enjoy the characters in this book whatsoever, nothing about them was interesting enough for me to continue reading and I don't know like I usually don't get bored with a book like I can sit there and just read a book and finish it in one sitting for the most part like that's just how I am but you know when I get stuck like reading after a few chapters that the book just isn't a book for me so I don't really have much else to say about this one it's just that I didn't really like it so yeah the next book on my list is Paper Hearts by Ali Novak, and this is also a Wattpad book, and it's actually the second in a series. The first book is called The Heartbreakers, I believe, which I did read and actually enjoyed. This is the second book in the series, but it does follow new characters, so it's not like a continuation of the first book by any means, but the characters from this book are characters from the first book, and it's kind of like their love story, but I found it to be super boring and just I wish that it was a continuation of the first book which is about this girl who has a sister that has cancer and she wants to do something nice for her for her birthday. I believe she's actually a triplet, like they're triplets, it's two girls and one brother. And um, her and her brother want to do something nice for their sister who's struggling with cancer. So they decide to go to this signing for the Heartbreakers who is this huge band that their sister really likes. And on her way to the signing she meets this boy at Starbucks and turns out he is the lead singer of the Heartbreakers and she has no idea and she like becomes their photographer or something like that. I don't know, it was actually like a really fun book to read and I did enjoy it. So I just kind of wish that this was a continuation of that book because the two characters in this were really frustrating and annoying and I did not enjoy it half as much as I enjoyed the first book. So I just don't recommend it. I would read the first book and then not continue the series, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, and the last book that I have on my list is a book that I've talked about on my channel. I actually have a book talk for it, and that is Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. You guys know that I absolutely love Colleen Hoover, one, as a person, and two, as an author. I think she's a really great writer, and while I know a lot of people don't enjoy her books as much as I do, I do stand by the fact that she does have some really good books that I personally love. Again, we're not all gonna agree on everything, so if you don't like Colleen Hoover, perfectly fine. But I guess I have to say that we're Regarding this book, I actually did see some major issues in it that I did address in my full book talk. So if you've read the book and you want to know what I'm talking about, I'll have it linked down below. Um, but there was just a lot of issues with this book. I feel like there was a lot of serious things that Colleen tried to tackle that just weren't tackled the right way. And I wish she would have developed them more and gave us better insights. And there was another plot that was just totally horrible. I didn't absolutely despise this book, but there was so many issues with it that it kind of just put it at the bottom of her book list for me, like last book that I enjoy. So I just would never recommend this one if I was going to recommend Colleen Hoover to somebody. I know that people say that all of her books have similar issues that this one has, but personally, I do enjoy a lot of her other books. So it's really just this one that I have the issues with, but again, the whole video will be linked down below of why. 
Okay, so those are all of the books on my list of books that I hate part two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too negative. I usually try to stay like pretty happy and optimistic just because that's how I am on my channel, but so many of you guys were asking me for this video, so I decided to finally do it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell if you want to be notified anytime I post a new video. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys very, very soon in a new video. Bye!